Bitcoin uses a proof-of-work system to secure its blockchain. In this process, the electricity does the actual work, and the proof is the presentation of a rare hash value that could only have been found by repetitive guesswork. The blockchain consists of blocks of transactions, and each block has a unique hash function. A newly created block has the previous hash linked to it, forming a chain of blocks. The miners work together towards guessing the unique hash. When a miner finds the correct hash, other network members verify it, then move on to a new hash, and the process repeats. On average, mining a block takes the entire network 10 minutes. The Bitcoin network is open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Why is this energy-intensive system needed to secure the blockchain? First, we must have clarity between what Bitcoin is and what it is not. The Bitcoin blockchain is used as a final settlement system, like Fedwire, not as a payment system like Visa or PayPal. The energy expanded delivers the final settlement without the need for a centralized party. Most Bitcoin transactions happen outside the main blockchain on cryptocurrency exchanges, the Lightning Network, and retail payment systems. These are all considered second-layer payment options on top of the actual Bitcoin blockchain. From time to time, the second-layer payment systems will go to final settlement on the blockchain. It's easier for a monetary network to separate retail transactions from heavier settlement transactions. Our current financial system uses the same layered technique. Many people only compare Bitcoin's energy consumption to the base layer transactions, while ignoring value added from the other layers. Now that we know the Bitcoin blockchain is a final settlement layer, let us understand the role electricity plays in this system. Electricity comes at a cost, so the Bitcoin network must give something in return for this expense. Proof of work makes counterfeiting and record tampering extremely costly, just as expensive as making valid transactions. A malicious actor must use more energy on the task than the entire honest network combined. So when someone says, Bitcoin uses more energy than Switzerland, this would also mean that if Switzerland used all of its electricity supply to mess with Bitcoin's transactions, it wouldn't come close to changing anything. This security is necessary for a global, freely available, politically independent monetary system. The ability to resist country-sized attackers is an incredible feature, not some bug that needs fixing. Now with that, we can finally talk about the heart of this video. The entire debate around Bitcoin's energy usage rests on whether one recognizes the need for a freely available alternative monetary system that's not in the grasp of any centralized party. The people who use the Bitcoin network believe it provides more value than the system's energy expended. If Bitcoin serves no purpose and is a bubble, then surely no one will have incentives to pay its electricity costs over time, and it will die, taking its consumption with it. Right now, only you can decide if Bitcoin energy consumption provides value, and you can vote by using the network or not. If you enjoyed this simple breakdown of Bitcoin's energy consumption, don't forget to subscribe since our next video will cover the impact Bitcoin mining has on the environment.